Son Son left home after the Haiti earthquake of 2010. It had badly damaged the house where he lived with his dad and stepmother. Son Son decided he could never sleep there again. I was scared of my house because the walls had fallen down and some were cracked. I didn't want them to fall on me. But there was another reason Son Son decided not to live at home anymore. His father had physically abused him since he was a small boy. He would beat me so hard that parts of my body had blood on them. It hurt so much. And when I went to bed, I saw blood on the sheets. Sometimes Son Son retreated to what he called his secret place with a Bible he'd found at home. I used to read in there that Jesus loved the little children. And I wondered if he really loved me. After the quake, with nowhere to go, Son Son decided to build himself a house made of mud. I took the dirt and rocks and mixed it with water, but it kept falling down. I said, God, why is it so difficult for me? As I climbed the hill to get a closer look at Son Son's house, this is what I found. The roof barely comes up to my waist, about three and a half, four feet wide this way. An old refrigerator grate is the window, and this piece of steel is the door. Son Son told me when he crawled in here at night, he had to curl in the fetal position in order to get a good night's sleep. It was only after Son Son had lived in his mud house for three months that a local orphanage director discovered his living conditions. The teenager learned that he was too old to go live at the orphanage, but the director said that CBN might be able to help. Very quickly, Orphan's Promise built Sunson a new house, not made of mud, but steel reinforced concrete block, one that was earthquake proof. He now attends church and a nearby school where he's able to get warm meals and finish his education. Thank you very much, because I was sleeping in a mud house. Now I have this great house. Thank you very much for that.